Hello and welcome. Yesterday, in the first half of the day, the European currency softened slightly against the US dollar. Its decline stemmed from the Fed Chair Jerome Powell's statement on the need to move more aggressively by raising the federal funds rate. The regulator is expected to hike its rate by 0.5% at the May meeting. However, the euro saw a reversal. Bulls managed to push the price up so that it could consolidate above the area of 1.0965, thus enabling us to maintain hope for a continued upward correction initiated on March 7. As for the British pound, the currency gained considerably against the US dollar. Today's macroeconomic calendar includes data on consumer prices from Britain. UK inflation is anticipated to accelerate by 0.6% in February from a month earlier, and annual inflation rate in the country is forecast to edge higher to 6%. This may force the Bank of England to take a more aggressive approach to raising interest rates. Besides, traders may take notice of Britain's annual budget and Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey's speech. Against this background, the pound sterling may well extend gains and hit new local highs. Speaking of other important fundamental factors, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is set to speak today. However, his statement will be hardly have a severe impact on the dollar's dynamics. In the second half of the day, statistics on consumer confidence in the euro area will be reported. The indicator is expected to ease in March. If Eurozone consumer confidence falls below analysts' focus, this may limit the Eurodollar pair's bullish run. From a technical point of view, the levels of 1.1049 and 1.1004 act as resistance and support respectively. If the price rises above 1.1049 and tests it from the top down, the euro will most likely recover to 1.1091 and then 1.1136 where it would be possible to open short positions on the rebound. A false breakout at 1.1049 will lead to a decline to 1.1004. If buyers are enabled to drive the price up from this level, the euro dollar pair will slide to 1.0965 and probably 1.0928. In this case, its upward correction will be broken and buyers will take the lead amid the lack of major geopolitical events as Ukraine-Russia talks are on pause. The euro is likely to trade within a sideways range, thus I recommend focusing on the levels mentioned earlier. Now let's take a look at the pound-dollar trading chart. Today, may much will depend on the speeches of Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey and Finance Minister Rishi Sunak. The pound sterling has every chance of extending gains against the US dollar. However, this will hinge on bulls activity and the level of 1.3295, as well as data annual British annual budget. Notably, the country wrecked up its biggest budget deficit due to extraordinary spending to combat the coronavirus pandemic. A false breakout at 1.3295 will create a sell signal thus dragging the British pound down to 1.3249. If bulls show subdued activity in this area and the price break through and fixes below this mark, the pound sterling will drop to 1.3207 and then 1.3165 in the event of a false breakout at 1.3249 or 1.3207, it will be possible to go long counting on a continued upward trend. Long positions can be also considered if the price consolidates about 1.3295. In this case, the levels of 1.3340 and 1.3390 can be seen as targets. At the mark of 1.3390, it would be a wise decision to open short positions on the rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 30.35 pips. Good luck!